What up? It's Adam. <laughs> Welcome back. And in today's video, I made a mistake in buying the Bose Rondos. And namely, I'll get to why exactly, but I love these, but I'm disappointed in Bose for why I say I made a mistake in buying these. Because these are dope. I have no problem with them by themselves, but I do have a bone to pick with Bose. What I will put into perspective at first, which is why I am doing a review on these and why you may consider them still, is they're half the price on Bose's website refurbished and even the polarized and interchangeable lenses are half the price. So for 20 bucks, you can get the Rose polarized lenses and for these, for $99, 120 bucks, you're already in the audio sunglass game, especially from a company like Bose. So with that into perspective first, I think that's going to help with any of the flaws I bring up and maybe even any of the pros I definitely bring up. Because in getting into the tech specs of these, 30 feet of wireless range is what they have as far as connectivity goes. It takes two hours to charge them, three and a half hours of battery life, up to four maybe, depending on how loud you listen to your content. And they do have interchangeable lenses you can buy still, even on Bose's own website. And they are IPX2 sweat droplet resistant, so you definitely wouldn't want to take these out in the rain or try to swim with them or anything like that. They for sure will probably break. So definitely not recommended for going out in the rain with these or anything like that where you're definitely going to ruin them if they get too wet. But when it comes to the controls of these, that's one of the first things I noticed where I'm like, hmm, okay, I'm at a Bose over this more than I am these audio glasses, audio sunglasses in particular. So when it comes to the controls, I wanted to download the app of course, to see how it works because that's what it says to do in the pamphlet when you unbox them. Well, these aren't compatible with the app and that's really frustrating because I figured out the controls on my own just intuitively, you know, holding down for Siri or your Google Assistant, play, pause, and skip is once, twice, triple tapping. And as far as turning them off, you flip them upside down to turn them off and you just hold it down to turn them on. This little gold button over here, I'm referencing. So I'm like, all right, that's kind of frustrating because you still just never know. And it does help to have an app in case there's updates that need to come with these like firmware updates. And that can make a huge difference. I mean, look at a company like Jabra with their 75 T's because of a software and firmware update, they're able to have active noise canceling on those true wireless earbuds. So it is a big deal. Now you won't get A and C with something like this, but still, you never know what may come out to make these better. Like having volume controls where maybe you can customize it to where pressing it twice is volume up, pressing it once is volume down. Some people may prefer that over media controls. It would be nice to have that option either way. However, in my opinion, even with a con like that, these are dope. When it comes to the design of these, these are my favorite looking ones that they came out with. So I'm not sure if they're not compatible with the app or maybe they're just not selling period at all like they expected and that's why they're doing this. They're just trying to get rid of them. But for me, I'm like, guys, can you just like hang on to this design or come out with a refurbished, not refurbished, but a renewed version of these because I really like this style and it's kind of disappointing how they're not selling well if that's the case. Because even when it comes to the interchangeable lenses, you can get interchangeable lenses, like I said, on their website. However, if you're like me and you wear prescription glasses, and especially once you go to prescription sunglasses, you just can never wear sunglasses and feel the same ever again. I mean, if you need that for your eyesight. So the pro is it's dope that you can still buy interchangeable lenses. The con is if you need prescription lenses or if you would prefer that, like let's say even with blue light lenses or sunglass lenses, well, you can't get that on Lensable with this model. You have to get them from third-party sites outside of a partnership with Bose, or you just have to buy what Bose is producing already. Now, let's get into the sound quality of these. And a lot of people probably thought that's the first most important thing, but I think the things I mentioned first would have helped you make your decision by now to save you time on if these are worthwhile or not. But when it comes to the sound, fantastic. I mean, the clarity, the volume, the pitch, the richness to the music and just especially audiobook and podcast consumption for me because I'm in the habit now of using so much of my phone for YouTube content and I download a lot of videos from YouTube. So whatever it is, whether it's somebody recording on their MacBook 
or it's a professional sounding mic, it sounded good no matter what. And as far as music goes, the only thing that was toned down was the bass. But the mids and the highs are for sure there to the point where it feels like you have earbuds in, in a sense, or at least bone conduction, you know, headphones, if you ever use those, where it sounds like it's really in your head and not something going past your ears. You know, it doesn't sound too artificial or anything, or even muted. So for me, I think the sound quality is great. It didn't matter what I was listening to. I just didn't have a bad experience, even riding my bike with these, with feeling like I had to have them too high. As far as volume goes with riding my bike at maybe 10 miles per hour on average, I go for cruises. I'm not a heavy duty cyclist or anything. <laughs> you know, we're talking just riding through the neighborhood in the evening just to get some fresh air thing and a little bit of exercise too. But for me, maybe 70, 80% volume consistently. So for audio glasses while riding a bike and wind coming through, I think that's pretty dang good. So in my opinion, I think it's worth it for the sound quality alone especially from a company like Bose, because even though they're going on sale and what seems like being discontinued, and you can find them at a great price, either refurbished or elsewhere, depending on where you look, um, I just would prefer that over buying like a third party brand or some off brand for like $80 or whatever they're selling for, because at least I know it's going to sound good. So speaking of sound quality, let's get into a microphone test and I will test these out in a coffee shop. I'll test them out while going for a walk. Hopefully I get some wind on my walk and then I'll test them out in a quiet office to see how these do. All right, testing out the Bose uh, Frames Rondo in a coffee shop and there's music right above my shoulder. It's super loud, so I'm only talking at a normal volume just to see how good these mics may pick up my voice. All right, test one, two, three of the Bose Frames Rondo in a quiet office. Test one, two, three. All right, not too bad with the microphone test in my opinion. Now, other things I do wanna mention as far as how these have been going the past two weeks I've been using them. How is the fit? How is the Bluetooth connectivity and things like that? When it comes to the fit, they haven't gotten loose. I felt like they broke in pretty easily. Yes, they were snug the first time I put them on, but the hinges haven't come loose. Haven't noticed any squeaks or anything, <laughs> like they're about to break. I wouldn't test it, but for me, overall, when it comes to the fit, they're snug on my head and they stayed snug. And there's been issues I had like with my Warby Parker glasses, regular glasses, of course these hinges are small. You know, I've had these for about a year and a half and they're starting to bend outwards where I'm gonna have to get them refitted. I think it's going to take a while with something like this. As far as Bluetooth connectivity, I feel like they're pretty spot on with 30 feet of range because for me, when I was gardening, Anytime I would use these, I would test it out by having my phone on my table outside that I have to lounge at or whatever. And when I'd go to my garden beds, they're probably about 20 feet from that table, at least the first ones I go to. And it starts getting a little choppy if I go past that. So I think they're pretty spot on. I didn't measure it to the exact, but I think you can probably even test it past 30 feet. And I just gotta say my overall experience with these have been great, namely because of how well they fit but also the way they look and that matte tone. And it's almost a little bit see-through with the plastic, with the plastic build of them. And I think that's just dope. I wish they would have kept this theme going. Now I do have to do a little bit of a comparison. I could do more of an in-depth with these, but I do gotta say, if you want the best of the best that Bose has come out with, there's nothing that compares to the Bose Frames Tempo, in my opinion. Using these has been, these have been a lifestyle game changer, period. These I can do fine without as far as not caring to use them too much. But with these, and I'll put them on just so you can see what they look like. I feel like with these, as far as sport usage goes, the polarization, the interchangeable lenses, how much deeper the lenses are or how much bigger they are in just my field of vision when it comes to being on the road and everything, these just do so much better, especially in sound quality and with the microphones because they're $249 and they're updated long after these have come out, it's understandable, you know, that, hey, for $249, of course you're gonna get a way better experience with these. So if you are considering the Bose Frame Rondos compared to the Tempos, I would say these are a good entry-level pair of audio sunglasses if you care about sound. Sound quality is gonna be the number one thing you're gonna like with these besides the design of these, but, if you need the best microphone, 
the best sound and volume and richness and bass and just overall feel and you're a very active person, just spend the extra money on these. I'm telling you, I know that was a mouthful, but that's really the best way I can compare the two is if you just need to get in the game and if you just care about not ever having to worry about buying another pair of audio sunglasses for probably a really long time, especially with the Bose Tempos, you can get those prescribed. You can interchange the lenses with all kinds of different styles on Lensable with that partnership they have with Bose. So that's the best way I can put it. I really hope this helped. I didn't want to make it too overwhelming or anything, but I think these are dope still. I think they're worth it, especially since they're extremely discounted. And uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy them for a long time coming still. So that's going to be it for this video. And I swear, pray for my bank account and wallet because I haven't even gotten blue light lenses with any of the Bose frames. I haven't even gotten prescribed yet. And I just know my bank account is going to hurt. But whatever, this is the name of the game with tech reviews and being addicted to this kind of stuff. So uh, I hope this review was helpful. Like if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you loved it for more content like this. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all in the next one.